Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So back to, I made a comment earlier on. Okay. So we print a ton of wraps. We see a ton of, uh, we've seen a ton of Oxbow stuff come through. Okay. So you guys have an athlete program. Mm -hmm. Athlete, ambassador, do you have different tiers? We do. So yeah. are you able to talk about those tiers or is that more of, of a Zach? Uh, it's definitely more Zach. Zach I mean, handles, he, he literally he handles manages, the program. He manages the whole yeah. program, runs that. Um, I'll say it's been super fun. Like, it's just been awesome experience to, like, work with all the ambassadors and athletes. And we did a huge ambassador ride last year. Heard a year. lot about that. This guy's had a Dude, it was the hoot. highlight of my winter. Like, yeah. it was so fun. So we did three days of riding, did a night ride, you know, Oxbow style. It had to be a night ride, yes, right? Yes, had to be a night ride. And <laughs> it, the crazy thing is, like, we went to a new area that only, like, two people out of the 24 riders that were there that night had ridden the area. So we're going into the night, like, riding a brand-new area to most of Whoa. us. And it, what it was could, an what experience could possibly in, go wrong? in, like, two feet of fresh powder, you yeah. know. And it was – but it was a blast. Like, we had so much fun. And then we did two other days, like, in the day. But, it like, every night it was snowing, like, one to two feet. So it was just refills every day, and it was just, like, it was just awesome. Everything just timed perfectly yeah, for you guys. Yeah, getting to know all the different athletes and stuff. And um, just, you know, we, we take customer feedback and athlete feedback very serious on our products because that's, like, you know, it's valuable information. Like, how can we improve yeah. our stuff? You know, these are the people that are on the snow. They have different experiences than us. And we take that very seriously. So we had a really good meeting with all of our ambassadors on – you know, their wish list on mm -hmm. product stuff or features and issues that they've had with different products and how we can improve upon that and stuff. Yeah. And so it was just, it was really cool. Um, but sorry, that's kind of all roundabout, I guess. We get, get back to your question. Yeah, we've got different tiers of okay. athletes. How does, how do um, I get invited to the Oxbow uh, team ride? Like, like I, I've got to be an ambassador <coughs> or a sponsored yeah. rider. Like what, uh, what does someone have to do? Because, you know, we're in the same space as well. There's a lot of, hey, what can you do for me? Yeah. Give me a discount. Give me a discount. Yeah. Right? The good ones know how to do it right. Yeah. They are, if, if both parties are going in thinking, I've got to provide more value <clears throat> to the other person than I'm taking from them, that's a great collaboration. Yeah. And so... I guess, what are some of those things that you guys look at as one, far as a you person? You know, one of the big things is just, I mean, one of it is just content. Like, it's hard to constantly be coming up with content to post on social media. Yes. So, like, quality content, like, if ambassadors can send that to us or just be posting it on their own page, like, I mean, that's that's gold. Yeah. You know? So, that's really awesome. Um, but then just, you know, I don't know, just being an influence out there to people, like, because a lot of people, especially if you're new to the sport, like, you're wanting to, you want to know, like, what gear do I need, you yeah. know, so having people out there that are like, hey, this is my experience with Oxbow, or this is my experience with this product, or whatever, and we always tell them, like, I, w I want them to be genuine, like, I don't want them, you know, putting on a face for stuff, yeah. like, and we always, you know, we, we try to make sure our product can stand behind, you know, what people are saying, Yeah. you know, so... Um, but yeah, I, and yeah, we've, we've got different tiers. So I, I think if you want to know like kind of details, um, it's kind of the standard is we require like a thousand followers on, you know, whatever social media channel you're okay. looking at. If it's Instagram, Facebook, we do make exceptions if you have other influence, but we, we do want, you know, our ambassadors to have some sort of influence yes. in the industry. And that's a good base. Like, here's a baseline. Here's some, if you're not there yet, here's here's a goal to go shoot for. Yeah. Right. So you're weeding out a lot of I'll call I don't know riff raft. That's the, the right word. But you're yeah. You're okay. Here's the bar right here. Yeah. Gotta and we we look at engagement too because you know there are some people out there that will just buy a bunch of followers and that's true. Yeah. I can go get it. We can go get a thousand engagement. followers right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it was like if they're you know. A bunch of bots or something like we don't really care for that yeah so and that's easy to tell so we're in the same shoes super easy if you've got ten thousand followers and i go to your post your posts in your feed and you've got one or two comments and that's it on all of them and it's yeah. like hey promote this on this page yeah not true comp like genuine comments yeah red flags yeah like 100 like you should have engagement comments if you've got that following yeah. right so People yep. trying to 
you know, sneak one through there. It's getting a little bit more tricky to do that. But yeah. So you're looking at, you know, there's a baseline of <clears throat> follower count, so level of influence, and then what kind of what kind of quality are your is your influence? Are your followers are they engaging right. with what you're doing? Yep. Okay. Anything else you guys are looking for uh, specifically? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a list, and I, I can't remember all the details. Like I said, this is Zach's this is yeah, Zach's sure. territory. Um, but yeah, I know Just there's a few Zach, things. Zach, right yeah. back. See. <laughs> Zach, Zach, what's over. that list? <laughs> <laughs> we post it on the website every year, though. So there you go. The okay, winter that's applications are you know through September. It closes end of September. Um, we do make exceptions out there, so if you miss the boat, you can always reach out to Zach on social sure. media or something and see if there's interest there. Okay. Uh, but we do, you know, we post the list of qualifications and stuff that we're looking at. Yeah. So people, you know, we're we're open about it. Yeah, that's smart. We should actually probably do that. I'm gonna steal that one from you guys. Are you okay with that? Yeah, for sure. 